Hi everyone, this is Jen Faylane Mergel of Crystal Guidance and this is video number two in my mini series of how not to request a crystal identification. So this one we're gonna cover lighting. So a lot of people I've noticed use the flash on their phone. You wouldn't believe how this washes them out and makes it so much harder for us to really get an idea of the true coloring of a crystal. So flashes are not a good thing to use. Instead, what you're gonna wanna do is use natural light. If you can wait for a day that has sunlight, that is ideal. I've had people go, but it was dark out and this is the only light I had, or I used a lamp because that's all I had. I promise your crystal will still be there if you wait for a sunny day. I promise you. So even a nice overcast day, you're not gonna want gloomy, but overcast gives a nice clarity on the coloring as well. So let me show you some examples of using a flash, using a lamp versus bright natural light. At the moment I'm just using overhead light and I have a little lamp that's next to me. We've got a white background and you see how lighting and background are gonna make a difference. And yes, I'm gonna be doing a video on backgrounds in a minute. So let me turn on the flash and show you what that's gonna look like. All right, so here we've got a video with it showing with a flash, which on the white isn't horrible, but it's still really just giving it some issues. But then when you bring it on a different color background, like black, you notice how it really washes it out which is why we don't recommend a flash. And then when you get up close, it's really, really gonna wash it out, which of course, go see video one about focus. Now let's go outside and show you with the sunlight. All right, so we are outside with the natural sun. You'll kind of notice based upon my shadow where the sun is. You're not gonna wanna face the sun because then it's gonna shadow over your crystal. You can even have with the sun to your back. That would work pretty well. Um, as you'll notice over the white background, although that's not perfect, getting it where it's lit up in the sunlight is better. But even getting it outside, non a non white background would be just fine too. So you're gonna notice how it's really gonna light it up. And video wise, if you're able to gently move it, that works too, so we can kind of see, but slowly, of course, the different formations on the crystal. So there's my recommendations on how to get a better video and clarity with the lighting.